I love weird and wonderful stadiums. You'll know that if you've seen my channel long enough. Um, I love to find the unique ones out there. And there is one that is so unique in the Netherlands. That it is known as the castle. When I found that out the other day, I knew I had to visit it when I was coming to this region. I've just done a video here in Belgium. This in the press has the name as the ugliest city in the world, but I found it to be fantastic. The people were amazing. Um, the football was really good. The stadium was really good as well. And I've had an absolutely amazing time. This is the train to Brussels, which is where we've got to go. Then we've got to swap and go to Rotterdam. So I'll see you very, very shortly in a new country. Here we are now in Brussels, there's the Belgian flag and the EU flag. Of course, the EU headquarters are in this city. I've not got time to show you around just now as I will be getting on one of these coaches very shortly. We've got about half an hour until we head north to the Netherlands. like everyone probably thinks are oh, Feyenoord uh, sort of the only team from Rotterdam um, there's actually two others there's Excelsior who are a pretty big club and there's also Sparta Rotterdam Sparta Rotterdam play in the castle and quite aptly as well it's quite relevant that they play in somewhere called the castle because they are the oldest professional team in the country they were formed on the 1st of April of 1888 funnily enough that is the same year that Celtic were formed and they're not the oldest club in Scotland but yes yeah, Sparta Rotterdam oldest club in the Netherlands formed the same year as Celtic 1888 right we're waiting for a bus which should hopefully take us up to the castle very shortly it's overdue oh there we go I see floodlights does this look like the kind of place where there'd be a castle stadium we'll be checking out the castle element of the stadium in just a second which may not be the weirdest thing about it Look, how many stadiums do you see that have the floodlights outside the ground? That is absolutely mad, but I love it. Oh my God, look at this. Isn't this just the most spectacular stadium you've ever seen? I cannot believe that this is a football stadium. And look, 1888 Sparta, the fifth most successful team in terms of league titles. They have six Ajax. PSV and Feyenoord are right out in front. And there's another team who are actually amateur who have um, a number of titles as well. They're the fourth highest team. Tiny non-league club now who are the fourth most successful team in terms of league titles, which is mad. But then you have Sparta Rotterdam in fifth. And just check this place out. So I've had a little bit of a nightmare. It's a Saturday right now, and I came here to Rotterdam from Belgium, as you'd have seen earlier in this video. Final order playing at home today within Rotterdam. The game's sold out, so I can't get tickets for that. So I thought I would come here and do a video about the castle, half thinking that the tour might be on, it might not be. It's a Saturday, Sparta Rotterdam are playing away, so I guess a lot of their staff would be away as well obviously the stadium's probably shut on a weekend if obviously they're not playing so i thought maybe i'll be able to get a tour today which i can't i just spoke to the guy in the club shop he reckons i might be able to get one on monday so uh yes i will see you hopefully in a few seconds which will be me from monday if not i'm not sure how this video will end but yeah wish me luck and hope i get in on monday because the stadium is unbelievable and i have to make a video about the stadium that is also a castle. Welcome back, it's a few days later now from when you last saw me and I'm staying on this uh, boat hotel here in, uh, in Rotterdam. You've got to, haven't you? You've got to stay on the canal. 
when you come to the Netherlands. But look, here's all the bikes and that as well. We've got to head back to the castle stadium today and fingers crossed we can get inside. I've had a few videos, uh, video ideas go wrong actually um, that I was hoping to film. So let's hope we have a little bit of a better day luckwise today. Um, I remember being in Ireland, remember that? How easy things were to film, everything was open, all went my way. Um, it's not quite happened here, but today I've got a good feeling, so let's get back down to the castle. Absolutely gutted. Um, yeah, no tours. Completely shut. The castle behind me there, as you can see. Um, you have to email in advance, which I've done. I also tried to get in contact on social media as well, but it's okay. I know these clubs are busy, so I'm gonna have to come back and do a proper inside the castle video one day. But this video isn't over yet. We've been in this position before. Most recently, probably in Dublin, where I went for an Aviva Stadium tour and that was shut. We made the best of it and got an incredible video out of it anyway. So. Ah, oh, it's been a tough old trip this. This is three videos that haven't gone to plan now. I've only been able to film two of five that I wanted to so far, but let's just pray that this one ends up all right, come on. We're waiting on the tram just now to take us to Excelsior, probably the second team in Rotterdam you may not have heard of before, especially if you're from Britain. I imagine you've only fought a Feyenoord, um, like I mentioned earlier. So there's Sparta Rotterdam with the castle. There's Feyenoord where I've been before, De Kuyp, also translated to as the tub. There's one more I'm still yet to see. So Excelsior, here we come. <laughs> Sparta Rotterdam a 12th, um, Excelsior a 7th, Feyenoord a 2nd. So in terms of the three Rotterdam teams, it goes Sparta, Excelsior, Feyenoord. And here is Excelsior. Let's hope I can actually get in this one, as it's been a nightmare ground off in around this country so far. Look at that, the Robin Van Persie Tribune. So I searched it online and I did see that Robin Van Persie started his youth career here before going to Feyenoord. So he would have started here and then sort of the quote unquote biggest team in Rotterdam would have picked him up when he was a youngster showing promise. And um, yeah, he could have obviously been playing here, but he ended up going to Feyenoord first before going to Arsenal, Man United um, and having a phenomenal career like he did. But we are inside the home of Excelsior. I knew um, if we'd come down, we would get a bit of luck at some point. So, yeah, we didn't get any luck at Sparta Rotterdam, sadly. But we are in at Excelsior, so, um, yeah, you should never give up with your ground hopping. But look how nice these seats are here. Um, we have, like, nice padded seats and the sign, kind of nice director seats over there. There's some players on the pitch. Um, really nice man who let me in said, um, I may be able to go on the pitch once the players have left. So we'll see if we can walk on the pitch a little bit later on. Yesterday, they played here and lost 6-1 to... PSV. So I was at the Ajax game earlier uh, that day um, at Utrecht, but there was a game here where PSV won 6-1. But as you can see, it's quite a small stadium. Four and a half thousand people can fit in here. And do you notice anything about it? And I'm sorry, but I'm going to mention Scotland again because here we have a 3G pitch. This isn't grass. And I was just chatting to um, yeah the man who let me in as well. And he was saying that obviously for financial reasons and um, for all the reasons we've spoke about on this channel before um, they can use it all year round they can rent it out to the community as well and you know it just makes financial sense for these teams to have plastic pitches i'm going to show you a few more shots of this place as well uh, as we walk around so wow look at this inside a top tier dutch stadium Uh, sorry, I don't speak oh, uh, sure, Dutch, sorry, in English. 
over from Scotland to see oh, Excelsior. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Good guys. All Excelsior supporters? Yes. yes. Diehards. Diehards, yeah. Die -hards. What's the best thing about the club? Uh, the sphere. Yeah. yeah you uh, can, it's you can, and the, the cleaning uh, crew. The cleaning team, yeah, of course. It seems like that's, that's the, best. the best. Yeah, definitely. It looks like an amazing stadium. You've done a great job. Yeah. And you can eat from the floor. Oh, amazing. I will do later on. Clean. I'll get my lunch and I'll eat it on the floor. Okay. <laughs> so the amazing cleaning crew were just telling me that this here is Henk Zon, which is what that stand is named after, the Henk Zon Tribune. Tribune means stand. And this isn't the Henk Zon Tribune. This is the Robin Van Persie Tribune. This is the Robin Van Persie stand. Look at this. I bet all the British, I, I just uploaded a couple of like quite good performing Manchester United videos. Um, so I bet I've got a load of uh, new Man United subscribers over the last month or two. And I bet not many of you who are Man U fans, or maybe you've got Arsenal fans out there, I've done a few Arsenal videos, or maybe just Dutch people in general. I mean, the Dutch people know, but the British fans especially. Did you know that there was a Robin Van Persie stand at this ground in Rotterdam? If I told you Robin Van Persie stand, you'd probably think fine old, wouldn't you? But no, it's Excelsior. Oh, thank you very much. So. Excelsior Rotterdam since 1902. Yes, yeah? and uh, the beer. <laughs> I'll have to have a beer with that later on. Yes, oh, thank you so beer. much. Okay. Cheers, thank you. That's really brightened the spirits after the disappointment of not being able to get into Sparta. There we go, Excelsior scarf, one for the collection. I didn't think I'd be stepping foot on an Eredivisie pitch when I came to do this trip, but here we are on a top tier pitch within the Netherlands. And I wonder which dugout is the away dugout because this time yesterday, uh, who is it? Ruud van Nistelrooy, the PSV manager. He would have been sat here somewhere. Is this the home or away? Um, let me see, I'm going to take a seat in one of these and then at least I can say I've sat in a seat which Rude Van Nistelrooy might have sat in. We'll sit in these ones. The furthest ones might be the away team. There we go, inside the dugouts of Excelsior Rotterdam. Here we go, here we go, here we go. My first ever Eredivisie or even Dutch goalpost. I've touched goalposts all around the world. And there we go, there's one in the Netherlands. Guten Tag and welcome to Deutschland. I have made it to Germany over the last couple of days since um, filming the rest of the video that you were just watching there. And I just wanna to touch on that, yeah, I've mentioned it a few times in this video that I was supposed to make this a Sparta specific video just for the Castle Stadium. I had to improvise a little bit just because of the bad luck of not being able to actually get in emailed the club, I've DM'd them on social media, and I turned up twice as well. So four sort of interactions, um, all four times either turned away or um, no reply or whatever. So again, I know the clubs are busy, so I'm gonna have to come back and do a proper inside the castle stadium video one day. Um, but how good was Excelsior? That really did lift the spirits. And I know that throughout this video, I've been like, oh, Feyenoord, they're the team that everyone sort of knows about, which is probably true. Um, and then I go on to say, um, but the other two that you've not heard of are Excelsior and Sparta Rotterdam. Um, but I know that there's probably a lot more than that as well, lower down the divisions um, that I'm gonna have to visit too. So they'll all be added to the list. I was also, whilst I was in the Netherlands, supposed to film a couple of fan related videos that I was gonna ask questions about certain topics. And I was gonna do an HVV Den Haag video as well, which um, couldn't go ahead because of some train strikes. So I had a really, really tough time in the Netherlands, although I do love the country and I know I didn't visit Feyenoord in this video because I've been there before so I will leave links to my Feyenoord videos below I saw them play a few years ago against Fortuna Sittard and the atmosphere at De Kuyp was incredible even for a, a game against a smaller team in the division and I also did the stadium tour as well so I actually got inside that one unlike at Sparta but I did get inside Excelsior as well of course um, but I absolutely love Rotterdam it's a phenomenal city um, I'd recommend it to you guys it's 
got everything that you'd want from a city and it has a lot less hustle and bustle than Amsterdam but it is also just as well connected as Amsterdam. Amsterdam's 20 minutes away on the train, maybe 30 minutes away on the train, as are the, sort of the rest of the cities. You can get to them very easily via the train routes in the Netherlands. So yeah, Rotterdam, if you've never been, I imagine a lot of you have been to Amsterdam. Make sure you get yourself to Rotterdam because it's an incredible city um, that you would love to visit. Please do hit that like button before you go. Please do subscribe as well. Like I say, I'm in Germany right now. Why don't I show you a little bit of Germany? Look, here is what's to come. Look at this, German golden hour statues of men wearing sparta kind of helmets or whatever and then like cool buildings like this but yeah this is germany i've got more content coming from here very very soon so like i say please do subscribe i'll leave some videos on screen please do click on one to carry on watching danke schön and auf wiedersehen